What up, brothers? Y'all know I got another one for y'all. Pro Truth. Again, I got another one for y'all. Kendra G. I'm only here for you, brothers, just um, to help you guys out. She's, I, I've said she's been doing this show for four years. And I think you guys should take this, you know, watch her show. And you could prop and you could see how our women, black American women, conduct themselves. The things that they're asking for. Because most of these women pretty much say the same thing. So it just gives so deep, but this show just pretty much gives you an idea of what these women are asking for. So you have to, so with this one. She has three children and she, her, she has a male best friend. So that's pretty much a red flag brothers, but I'm going to go ahead and get into it. I'm going to let, I'm going to chime in throughout the video. Let's get to it. My name is V, but um, my name is Victoria. Everyone calls me V though. V, where are you calling me from? I'm calling you from right now, Tallahassee. Is that where you live? No, I live in Jacksonville, Florida. Okay, so you, are you visiting? I am. All right, so V, Jacksonville, Florida. Wait. How old are you, love? Sit still, honey. I am. I'm sorry. I had to close doors and everything. Good lighting. I am 32. So you want the light? That light from the window is blaring you, though. So you don't want that. Either you want to face the light. You always want to sit in the light. How about 32 though? Okay. That's good. This is great. Hey, okay. Hey, Kim. All right. Say again, honey. I say you look so cute. Oh, thank you, boo. Thank you, boo. All right. So we got V, Jacksonville, Florida, 32. What's your zodiac sign, babe? I'm a Taurus. Oh, what's your birthday? May the 6th. Happy birthday to you. You just had a birthday. I was a day before my birthday. What'd you do for your birthday? Um, I, I went out to dinner by myself. What? No friends? Who we'll go out to dinner with you? No. Um, unfortunately, all my friends, they're in New Jersey. I'm from New Jersey originally. Okay. Um, so I just went out by myself. Another day, uh, another day. Another day. Uh -huh. Well, do you have any kids? I do. How many I have kids three. Here? Three kids. How old are your three kids? Um, they're babies. I don't want to disclose their ages right now. Now, brothers, they're babies. I can, I tell y'all a lot of times. See that she knows that that's going to probably hinder her when it comes to getting a man. All she are she has three kids, and they're young. So of course that is going to hinder. Or is that going to look, that's going to be frowned upon if a man is trying to holler at her. And she doesn't even want to even reveal the ages because they're young. But we're going to go ahead and get to the ages anyway because she's going to have to reveal them. You have to. Okay. They are six, four, and three. Three. All yes. by the same man? Yes. Why, why are you not with this man? You got a three-year-old together. Um, I mean, you have three kids together, but the youngest is three. Grow up. People grow up. Huh? People grow up. What does that even mean? Ask yourself that, brothers. People grow up. She's 32 years old. People grow up. Let's continue. And, um, you know, we just decided to go our separate ways. That's all. Do y'all cope very well? Oh, yeah. 1,000%. That's my best friend. If he's your best friend, why can't y'all work it out and have a family? Because we tried it. It didn't work. And life goes What's the on. biggest issue? You had three children with this man. And you, and it, you claim it didn't work. Now, she's going to blame him. 
which is what most women do. And they're not, and she's not going to take, she's going to take zero accountability, but let's see why they didn't quote unquote work out and why they grew up. Is it him being, I mean, I'm, my assumption is maybe infidelity. Um, no, it was just too many. I'm jealous. So it was just too many females. Just a lot of females. Say, is that infidelity? So was he, okay. Why is it always, and this, and with Kendra, why is it always infidelity? Why that's got to be the first thing that comes up? Let's continue. Okay, was he acting on the he was email? That he ain't had no business talking to, and it was just too much for me. So I told him he had to go his separate way, and I went mine, but we still the best of friends. Just one question. Yeah, and I understand because you're a tourist, and, and, and jealousy is a tourist trait. So. Yeah. But let me ask you this. What We're using the zodiac signs to blame our actions, which is what a lot of women do whenever they have a negative, whenever they their emotions or their actions are in a negative way. The first thing they want to do is blame their zodiac sign. I'm a Scorpio, so uh, I act out. I'm a Capricorn. I like to eat trees. I don't know. Was he talking? Was he acting on actions or was it flirtation or did he just have a lot of female friends? Did he cheat? Um, it was just more so flirtatious. Um, things that we talked about that was no, that was a deal breaker for me was happening to me. So I just left it alone. You know, you me and more than me. I don't know anything, right? So all I could know is what you're saying. Um, For sure. I just feel like this. I guess this, I know so some are going to get so mad at me, but I'm just going to be honest. I feel like sometimes, I mean, I don't know. Again, I don't know if he's a good man, but I know y'all got three kids together. And yes. from what you're telling me, he didn't physically cheat. Correct. As far as I'm concerned. Okay, as far as you're concerned. So if that's sure. the case, you let those women win then. Because I'm quite sure they knew about you. If they was flirting with your man, they probably didn't want you to be happy. They didn't want y'all to be together. You got three kids by him, and now they get to try to pursue him. You let them win. That's that's okay. okay. Sometimes you got to have winners. Sometimes you got to have losers. I lost that game. It's all right. We must move on, you know? Okay, we can move on, but did you... I mean, but that... Okay, we'll move on. We'll move on. Because it's your decision. It's your I life. You have to live it. You have you to can, live it. We, yeah. Huh? You can ask me anything you want to. What's one thing that I... Listen, relationships... And I, and I will never tell anybody to say anything. That, you want more good times than bad times. So let's start there. And, um, and if your spirit is not being served, and if, if that's what your case is, you keep it moving. Like, I, I, I don't believe in having a man just to have a man. I don't believe in having a woman just to have a woman. So that's not what I'm saying. But what I am saying is people in relationships, like nothing's perfect and they figure it out to stay together for the greater good if there's more good than bad. And, and a lot of times, you know, we see it online. And I, I mean, I love my women, but sometimes women do be trying to break up happy homes. I'm just going to keep it real with y'all. It's true. And so basically what, and, I, and I'm not saying... She said that he didn't physically sleep with another woman. So she messed up a good relationship because of her emotions. Because she did say she was jealous. And then Kendra wants to add in there that, oh, she's a tourist. I, again, don't let these, I don't know why these women love to use zodiac signs to, to uh, represent how they conduct themselves. But again, the young lady messed up her relationship. She had a man. I don't know if he was working or not. I'm going to assume he was working, but she had three kids with that guy. And I have to put it on him too, but I don't know. He didn't, I don't know if he acted on it or not, but at, again, brothers, we, we, we got to choose better. We got to choose better. Let's continue. And I'm just a no nonsense type of person. So if, you think you can get over on me one time and I accept it the next time you think you can keep doing it. And that's not acceptable. 
You know, okay, so. that's why I said I don't really know all the details, so it's really hard for me to say, but let's keep going. Okay, so we got V, Jacksonville, Florida, 32 tourists, mom of three kids by the same man. You guys didn't get married, did you? No. 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 Um, no, you didn't get married. No. And what do you do for a living? Um, I'm actually a nurse. Uh -huh. um, I'm a chef. I'm a chef. You're a nurse? Um, in a chef? Yes, I am. A nurse? A chef? Okay. Um, that's, and, that's really So, I think I got it all. So, we got V, Jacksonville, Florida, 32 tourists. My I don't know about those two jobs. That the, you have both of those jobs? Like, are you actually working as a nurse and a chef? As a, Like, is that a full-time job? <sighs> I, I don't know. I, I've done... I used to be in food service, so that's a bit... Being on your feet all day, and then on... Wait a minute. Even as a nurse, you're on your feet pretty much the whole day. And you got three kids. Something ain't adding up, but let's continue. First mom of three kids, by the same man, never married, nurse, and a chef. What kind of man you looking for now, boo? Um, someone who is honest and loyal, um, God fearing first and foremost. Um, someone that has children. If they do not have children, that'd be okay too. But someone that has children definitely. Um, someone who loves his mother, but is not a titty boy, if I can say that, excuse me. You, you can, can, okay. You saying like a mama's boy? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, she has children too. So I wonder if any of her children are, um, mama's boys. I don't know. Let's continue. Um, I don't, I don't want no mama's boy, but I mean, if you love your mom, that's okay. You know, okay. It's not wrong with loving your mother, but don't love her too much. Don't love her more than you love me. Okay. Yeah. Now here's the problem that I have with what she just said. She wants, and I, and, and you are supposed to kind of, once you get with a woman, you should kind of, you shouldn't, I'm not saying that you shouldn't love your parents, but you're supposed to be focused on your woman. But here's the problem that I have. She has children. So is she going to put that man first above her children? Or is she going to put the children over the man? That's the question I got for her. But let's continue. Yeah. because we Don't love have the mama more than... Ooh, no. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Especially when can I, can I, can I ask you a question? Yes. yes. Would you love him more than you love your kids? No. So he damn, you know what? She got to the question before I, I right. I didn't even I I had actually watched it, but I just didn't I missed that part. Now you see what she just asked. Would you love him more than your kids? And she said no. So, brother, she's not going to even put you first. And in a way, I don't really have a problem with that. So this is why I this is why I always say, brothers, that it can be very dangerous to date a single mother. You're not going to be first. You may be you ain't you might even come home from a hard day's work. She's going to make sure that her children are good before she makes sure that you're good. But yet, both, all of y'all live in the same household. You making sure all the bills are paid, making sure that everything is maintained inside the house. But she's not going to put you first. Brothers, I don't make these things up. I'm not telling you not to date a single mother. I'm just letting you, I'm just giving you warnings that it can be very, very dangerous to date a single mother. I don't make these things up. Let's continue. So he can't love his mother more than you, and you won't love him more than your kids, so you won't give him the same courtesy. Or or maybe I should say not, not more so love your mother more than me, because that's your mother. But, um... Don't be a yes man. Don't be a, a think like a man, um, Terrence Howard. 
type of dude. Saving his mom's right, number. But think like a man, Terrence Cox. Yeah, you know how he saved his mom's number um, under work. Oh, okay, okay. We don't want those brothers. If you ain't seen the movie, I ain't really seen it either. But she just, you know how these black women are in these Medea movies and these Tyler Perry. Well, these Tyler Perry movies. That's all they get. They they get a lot of a lot of they logic and information from a lot of these Tyler Perry movies. So watch those type of women too and the reality tv too let's continue what those type okay okay so okay no mama's boy somebody said keep i'm going i'm slow i'm just nervous y'all that's all okay okay keep going um that's that's just really it just that one thing you said up. one thing you said is you're okay if he doesn't have kids now you have three kids do you want more kids um eventually i'll give my husband some okay so why would you prefer a man with no kids uh if he doesn't want any children then i can't make anyone have children so that'll be okay with me too but, but i will prefer... with you he's gonna have children because you have three young children kendra you don't pay attention to shit. that's not what she said and you know what's crazy to me with you too, Kendra, is that you actually, or at least it looks like it, it's like you're writing things down. You, I don't know, you you don't you don't pay attention very well. I don't know what's going on with you. And you do this a lot. Stop writing. Because you look silly when you're actually writing it down. And then she never said that she preferred a man with no kids. She said she would rather have a, she wants a man with children. She doesn't mind if he doesn't have children. I, Kendra, you stupid. Let's continue. Children. I mean, he's yeah, talking he, about your husband, right? That's what I feel. He must have children because I have children. Oh, I thought you said it's, you're okay if he doesn't have children. Yeah, I'm, I'm okay with it, but I prefer someone with children. Got you. Okay, okay I missed that. All right. What are your deal breakers, love? Um, cheating. Lying um not being romantic um not outgoing not optimistic uh and someone that um actually love children so if you don't love children that's a deal breaker too okay should he look a certain way uh handsome because i'm i'm pretty but i'm not like oh drop dead gorgeous the most, but I'm gorgeous to myself. Um, handsome, tall, dark skin. Girl, you just subscribe the most sought out man on the planet. Okay. Handsome, tall, dark, tall, dark, and handsome is the most sought out black man walking this planet. That's it. The black of the berry, sweet of the juice. Okay. What about money? Should you make a certain amount of money? Um, um, no, he doesn't have to make a certain amount. I'm not taking care of him. If I have to, I will, but I'm not going to take care of him. So he doesn't have to make a certain. Okay. All right, boo, let's do the kids or cam. All right, y'all. Um, don't laugh at my outfit. I just came from a graduation. Oh, God, look at that booty. That's how you I don't understand, Kendra, like. I mean, I I mean, I seen the video. She, she her shape is all right. It's not. I'm not gonna sit here and be like it's banging. I don't know if she take. I don't know how well she takes care of herself. But I don't know what's up with Kendra. I don't. Maybe it's a lot. Maybe it's just the fact that a lot of you black men fantasize about a big ass booty. I I I don't know. I'm just different. I ain't. I don't really give it. I mean, I she got to have a little booty, but I don't know. I think Kendra, you you think that black? Well, maybe y'all do. I don't know. Yeah, that is true. They do lie about appearance, about women's appearance. But again, I I don't fantasize about a big ass booty. I'm just I'm just I'm just different. But let's continue. I got some three babies. Something like that. Don't tell nobody, Kendra. <laughs> <laughs> I thought when you turned around, like I already knew how it was going on. I want to say this though, V. Some men might say, you know, you have three kids, but you have a four year old and a three year old. In a six-year-old, so the ones over five, what would you say to the man that might be concerned that you have three young kids? Um, that he would probably have an issue with meeting 
the child's father, but um, he has to just be a stand up man, be righteous in God to even understand the situation that I had. So, what what does that even mean? What she just said, he has to be righteous in God to understand the situation. What does that even mean? I think that women just be speaking without thinking about what they say. That doesn't even make any sense. Let's continue. That's about it. Okay. okay. When was your last relationship? Uh, three years ago. Three years ago. Yeah. Um, you don't have yes. to answer. Oh, y'all yeah, broke up when you had your baby. Um. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um. Okay. Why? You don't have to answer, but I'm gonna ask. When's the last time you was intimate with someone? Um. I don't want to answer. Okay. Let me tell you something, brother. I think the reason why she does, and I don't have a problem with her not answering, but you have to remember that her best friend is her ex. That's a problem, brothers. That is a big problem because you don't know what type of relationship they still have. You don't know if that dude comes over to go pick up the kids and be sliding inside between them legs every now and then we have no idea we don't know what type of relationship that dude could probably still go over there and hit it if you want to and you have a lot of quote unquote baby daddies that are still doing that and these women that are still letting it happen so we don't know so that's a big red flag brothers the fact that she has three young kids that's a red flag she didn't even want to even mention how old the kids was in the beginning. So, brothers, again, this is this can be a very dangerous situation. Very dangerous. And she doesn't care. Let's continue. Okay. Three flaws you have to work on. Um getting angry fast um, um giving someone the benefit of the doubt and not learning to jump to conclusions right then and there gotcha okay and why would a man be lucky to be with you um because i'm a hard worker i love very hard i love my children but um, I work for what I want. Um, I don't take no for an answer. And um, I cook clean, but I don't get taken advantage of. And I'm, I'm pretty cool. I'm pretty cool. I'm pretty dope, I say. So, brothers, <clears throat> besides the cooking and cleaning, how does any of that, what she just said, benefit you? This is, and this, and I see this on these dating app too. And I'm going to, I'm going to have to do a video on dating apps, but I see these on dating apps when these women are telling you what you need to bring, what you should do, what you shouldn't do. But none of them actually tell you what type of woman they are. I don't, what, how does any of that, what she just said, benefit you? Especially if you're a stand-up guy. <sighs> Let's continue. She's pretty dope. She's pretty dope and she's pretty cool. Okay, V, what's the age range you want to date? 35 to about 65. Say one more time. 35 to 65. 65? She's 32. And she wants to go all the way up to 65. Listen, I ain't really got no problem with an older man dating a younger woman. But let's but let's listen to this. 35 to 65. Oh, yeah. You, you go 30 years older? Oh, yeah. They, okay. You know what oh, they, oh, yeah. 
So tell me why you would go 30 years older. Um, because they're already stable. They know what they want. And it's either one or two things that they want to travel. Um, they know how to love properly. They don't need too much. And they just want to be nerds. That's all. So, so is there what? They love to travel? They want to be nourished? <laughs> oh, let's continue. Yes, this is pure comedy, bruh. Let's continue. Your child's father older? No. We're the same age. We're the same age. Okay, well, that, that, that might work for you. All right, so older. So she'll go 30 years older. Should he be in Jacksonville? I hope not, because they said it's like the number one AIDS capital. What? I thought it was Atlanta. Not to, I, I mean, I could be wrong, Sean. I'm going to have to look that up. I know Jacksonville is number one with, I know, I don't know if they're number one with crime, but they up there with the violence. I know they was up there with AIDS. Shoot. I'm, I'm with Kendra. I thought it was Atlanta. As a matter of fact, I think, no, Atlanta is top five. I don't know about, I got to look that up. They might be, Jacksonville might be up there with STDs, but AIDS? Damn. Let's go. Um, no it's, it's, but I, could, I swore I saw something about that with Atlanta. Not yes. Long ago. But I think, I think uh, Jacksonville is number two. So I'll travel. So you'll relocate you and your family for another man? I won't relocate. I will travel. Now, y'all heard that. She will not relocate, but she'll travel. For what? So all you traveling for is some pole with them kids. What the hell is that? So you just, you try to be, instead of you being a travel nurse, you being a travel skeezer. What? Okay. They, Thank you, uh, thank you, real. Yeah, I, I do believe. Yeah, I, yeah. Well, Florida do have the dope beaches, but damn. So they might be number two. I'm gonna actually look that up about AIDS. She said AIDS. She didn't say STDs or STIs. She said AIDS. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to look this up. But let's continue. What happens like if you get married? I like say what? Well, like my own face. I like Wait, my say it again, love. Can you hear me? And went out. Say it one more time. I said I like my own space right now, so. I guess what I'm saying is, if it got serious, would you? Are you gonna move? Um. That's up in the air. Okay. That's up in the air. All right, yeah. brothers. Let me help you out real quick. Don't, unless. Unless you plan on making the next city where she lives at a home, I don't advise you to to move where she's at. Unless you plan on making that city your home. And if you do move to the city where she's at, you better have your own space. You better not. I don't even advise you to move in with the woman. Matter of fact, brothers, you never move in with the woman. Never. You always have your own place. And brothers, if you just happen to have to move in with her, you better have enough money to be able to move out. But again, you never move in with the woman. I hope I made myself clear. And I'm telling you this. This ain't no suggestion. Yeah, I'm, I'm giving you orders like I'm in the military. Never move in with the woman. Let's continue. All right, yes, ma'am. You can shout out one of your social media platforms. How do you want the guy to reach out to you? Um, my name is V Love on Facebook. Um, I don't really do too many social medias, but I follow you because I, I just really love it. Have you, have you downloaded the app yet? I have. 
Okay, what's your name on the app? Uh, v Love. Is it? Oh, by the way, brothers, Kendra G now has a dating app. I have not checked it out. I don't want to check it out. I'm not even going to check it out. And I'm going to do a thing on these dating apps because it's something that you brothers, th th there's something that was told to me that they're saying that oh, it's almost, it's more men on dating apps than women. But I'm going to make sure and, and do my research on that because something ain't right. But let's continue. V and then the word love, two different words? Yes. V love. Let me see if I can find you in the search area. These people is eating me up. I'm what cracking up. What did they say? <laughs> they said, I stand corrected. How you going to travel with three children? The point is, they all have passports. So if y'all don't have passports, y'all can't ask me no questions. What the hell is she talking about? They What? They have, what is she talking about? They all have passports. So now she wants, she talking about, so I know she talk, if she get with a man that wants to travel, she talking about traveling outside the United States. Listen, these tickets ain't cheap. Not anymore. Some of these tickets costing seven, $800. I don't, and, and we ain't doing no flyby. So what is she talking about? My kids got passport. Like she's able to just to pay for her and her kids. We'll just say we'll just say a ticket six hundred dollars a piece. Six hundred. Six hundred times four is twenty four hundred. You paying all that? Or I guess you could expect a man to pay that much. Man, chick, you crazy. Um, hold on real quick. You spell V V E E? Yeah, babe. Okay. So you're saying that there's states that what now? No, they, they just eat me up in the comments. Talking about Florida is trash. <laughs> <laughs> well, this one, okay. Yo, the comment section ain't shit. <laughs> Florida's trash. <laughs> Yo, the cousins ain't got it. They, man, let's continue. Um, Let me say this. And, I, and I've been fighting against saying this because I feel like I'm going to get backlash. So I don't even want I don't, I don't even want to say it, but my spirit is like, say it. You need to say it. I, we were talking earlier about your situation. And I don't know all the details, so I really can't speak. But I do feel like sometimes, that's why I understand like cheating. Listen, domestic violence, get your ass on. There ain't no conversation. Anything that you are not safe in, get out of that. I, I will be the first to, to say there's no reason to even try to save it because your livelihood is, is up for grabs. But I think what people gotta realize there's no perfect relationships, right? And no true. matter what, you're gonna go through something with the next person. It's not like you meet a person and then they're perfect and life is great. So, but I'm also not saying this as a fear <clears throat> tactic. So I wanna be clear, I'm not trying to scare someone to stay in something that's not serving them. But I right. also want them to be aware that when you go out to look for a new person, you're still going to deal with stuff, right? right? So now you might, I don't know, like, it, it seemed like, that's why I asked you if your baby daddy cheat. Because if if it's just, I don't know if he's real attractive and, because, listen, y'all, I'm going to be honest with y'all. Like, I'm a girl's girl, but I see with my own eyes. Yeah. Ladies be out here trying to get, ladies be out here trying to get your man, whether y'all know it or not. I see it with my own eyes. If you got an attractive yeah. guy, yes, he needs to be disciplined. But we don't talk enough. Wait, what? Yes, he needs to be disciplined. What? Which type of discipline are you talking about, Kendra? I hope you ain't talking about what I think you're talking about. You know, I'm I, I I maybe I'm wrong. I think you mean discipline like he needs to be able to control himself. I hope that's what you mean. But let's continue. Enough about how women will approach and how women won't respect. And again, it still falls on him, you know, to respect his relationship with you or whomever but I just feel like I don't want I think the biggest thing with single people is you're looking for perfect and people in relationships know the truth like nothing's perfect we just decided to work through bullshit right right so that's, that's all but and I'm not and, and I and I 
Trust me when I tell you, my spirit has been like nagging me to say this. And I was like, I don't want to say it because I don't feel like arguing with black women about can't you tell black women to settle? And I don't feel like that energy, mm -hmm. child. But I do feel like I, I want single people to know the truth about relationships because what's happening is y'all see these perfect relationships. Everybody shows you their, their perfect moment on social media. Like it's the perfect shot. It's the Hallmark card picture. Right. And, and they will never show the other bullshit that it took to get there. Like, right. oh, he bought me a car. Oh, maybe he bought her a car because he got another woman pregnant and she decided to stay with him. Or, or maybe he bought her a car because when he lost his job, she stepped up to the plate and held things down. Like, there's always so much more to what y'all just see in those moments. And I think that that's why I always tell like, oh, there's a helicopter too damn close to my house, child. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Um, but I don't know. So I'm not saying that's your scenario, V. Yeah. I'm not saying that's your scenario. Yeah. But yeah. that's in a helicopter. That helicopter is too close. I know. What's going no. on, child? That's too close. But back to you. All right, V, let's do it. All right, you get with your contact information. She's V Love on the app, and she's also V on Facebook. She's V Love. V Love on the app, and also V Love on Facebook. I'm wishing you the best, boo. Thank you, boo. Have right, a good bye, one, y'all. Bye, baby. Bye, baby. You know, brothers, <laughs> y'all need to watch out for these single women. I, I, I think y'all should, you know, time and, you know, from, from every now and then y'all should check out the Kendra G show and just look at how, and listen to what these women are asking for and really think about the, is this, is, is this something that you want to deal with? Because most of these women that come on this show are pretty much the same. They're, they all ask it for the same thing. They're all asking for somebody that's tall. They're all asking for a tall, dark, handsome black man. The majority of them are asking for the same thing. I'm not handsome. I'm tall. I'm dark. But, brothers, these women are, a lot of them are delusional. And then on top of the fact that this woman, her best friend, is her ex that's dangerous very dangerous brothers because you don't know what you're getting yourself into because what if y'all two just get into a heated argument and he just happened to pull up next you know he ready to defend his best friend you have so many danger signs so many red flags date to if you was to date this woman and there are a lot of women just like her. But that's pretty much it, brothers. Just want to just put that out there. I'm going to continue with the pro-truth because that's all I'm here to do. Peace.